Hi, everybody. Alexia and I welcome you to our special podcast series on how to have more energy. How many of you out there would like to have more energy? Everyone would. So just for those of you turning, tuning in for the first time, just real quick, all we said was that uh, the wife of the famous astronomer, Carl Sagan, she was the one who did a brilliant understanding of where our energy comes from, and they're called mitochondria, and she showed they're actually morph bacteria. So is we said that a Nobel Prize was won by Dr. Hans Krebs, and that is in the mitochondria, how it produces energy, the energy of life. And as I mentioned yesterday, the world runs on dollar bills, the energy of your body is called ATP. So it's called the Krebs cycle on how to crank out energy. And then we said that the energy vitamins are the B vitamins, okay? And they act as helpers to the enzymes of the Krebs cycle. And there are many B vitamins, B1, 2, 3, 6, 12, then they stop numbering them. And then biotin, choline, inositol, folic acid, a lot of B vitamins, they work as a family. Now, let's think of what would happen if just one B vitamin was lacking, okay? And this is a very traumatic example. And this showed one of the biggest medical breakthroughs in all of history. And just for context, in the American South, up to the year 1935, tens of thousands of people were dying every year. And they were dying in clusters. And whenever you see that phenomenon in epidemiology, you always think infectious disease. So the NIH, which uh, paid my salary for a couple of years, they sent out a giant team of doctors and microbiologists and lab technicians searching for the infectious agent. They didn't know if it was virus, bacteria, fungus, whatever. And they went for two years, nothing complete zero. So the head of the team, Dr. Joseph Goldberger said, wait a second, wait a second. Maybe it's not infectious. Maybe it's nutritional. And there was variation and a little margin, but the core diet of the American South pre-1935 was something like this. I call it the big four. Refined corn, called hominy, beans, blackstrap molasses, and bacon or fatback. So what Dr. Goldberger did, he ran a controlled experiment, putting some of the participants on the typical Southern diet, which we just mentioned. And the other was a control group with really good meat, and vegetables and milk and dairy products. And guess what? That was one of the biggest medical breakthroughs of all time. The disease was called pellagra and it was just the lack of one B vitamin, B3, also known as niacin. So pellagra, just that disease, the symptoms were the four Ds. The first D was dermatitis, second D was diarrhea, third D was dementia, and the fourth D was unfortunately uh, death. So again, I emphasize just one B vitamin, lack of which can cause a major uh, disease. So is this opened up two new fields Number one, orthomolecular psychiatry, having the right nutrients in the brain at the right time. I'm being a little simple about this, of course. And the other was mega vitamin uh, therapy, 
that some people actually need, you know, more vitamins than others. Now, what's the take home for today? Let's be practical. How could it help out everyone? And that is, we mentioned yesterday that to take is very inexpensive, a good B vitamin supplement. And it's called a complex because the Bs cluster as a family. So instead of taking all, you know, B1 separate, B2 separate, you know, all that is take a good B complex. And of course, it will have a high dose of B3 niacin. Now, Alexia is, uh, Alexia uh, uh, saw the podcast yesterday and she said that, Joel, you mentioned uh, yeast, but let's clarify that. And I'm glad Alexia mentioned that. I'm glad she caught that because is, uh, um, I just said yeast, but I was referring to what's called brewer's yeast, okay, or the new generation called nutritional yeast, not live yeast, which you bake with, okay? And the brewing industry uh, had a surplus of yeast from, uh, you know, beer making, things like that. And the health food stores uh, bought the brewer's yeast. And for Alexia and I, that was our generation called brewer's yeast, which is excellent, which has all of the B vitamins, okay? But the new generation, which was tweaked for human nutrition is called nutritional yeast. So for example, it has uh, a lot more selenium than the brewer's yeast. And then the final thing, I think it's worth just real quick for seniors, okay? And that is we mentioned a special B vitamin called B12, lack of which is pernicious anemia, and we mentioned that one of the greatest products that came out is sublingual B12, because as you age, there's an attenuation of a little shuttle bus called the intrinsic factor, which absorbs the B12. So you could bypass that whole system, a few drops of sublingual B12, and that is a high dose to help prevent the uh, pernicious anemia. So once again, Alexia and I, thank you so much for having us. And Alexia and I will see you tomorrow. And uh, again, have a great day. And thanks again. Bye-bye.